More than 100 people continue to mourn their loved ones killed by Helene in North Carolina. And tonight, Eyewitness News is learning about one family in Buncombe County. They lost 11 people to the storm. Diane Wilson is in Fairview. This is southeast of Asheville, learning more about the family and their tragedy. Diane. It's unrecognizable now, but this is where I was born and raised. This is what's left of Craigtown. Now Jesse Craig is trying to pick up the pieces, grappling with the incredible loss of losing 11 of his family members. My mother and father, my aunt and uncle, my great aunt and uncle, uh, lost cousins, um, second cousins, things like that. Um, but 11 people overall from this mudslide. Massive mudslides. You can see the path of destruction. Several homes just gone. There was one up here. Uh, a brick house and then my parents house and a building. There were buildings through here. All of these homes, his family's proud history, now piles of rubble. As Jesse walked, eyewitness news around his family land. He shared how his grandfather bought this land more than 80 years ago. The, the locals call it Craigtown because I'm, I'm a Craig and a lot of my family still live over there. My dad was born and raised there. You know, my whole family's been in this tight-knit community. The family built eight decades of memories, but never could imagine suffering a loss like this. Included in the 11 family members of firefighter Tony Garrison, who died while saving a family member from this home. Look at this red truck. One of Jesse's family survived the onslaught inside of it when the mudslides came, carrying his truck to here. Then he had to break the back window to escape. We'll never make sense of it. You know, it's our community and our town, I don't, I don't know that it'll ever be the same. Since Helene, Jesse and his wife surrounded by family, friends and the entire Fairview community, along with total strangers, helping Craigtown, an online fundraiser raising more than $50,000 to help pay for the 11 funerals, medical expenses of those family still in the hospital, and to one day rebuild Craigtown. We don't want people to forget like months down the road. Like this isn't just a, now, this is a week or two term. fix. This is, yeah. Um, we gotta be in it for the long haul. This is gonna take you know, years of work, mm -hmm. repair. Mm -hmm. Try to have it recognizable again. And you know, just, you can hear the heartbreak and they can't even think about the rebuilding of Craigtown right now for what they're dealing with of losing 11 family members in what they could not even fathom happened there as those mudslides took away so much of what they have loved there in Craigtown for so much. And so this community and total strangers, as they said, just rallying, trying to raise those funds to help them deal with this unimaginable loss. Yeah, that's why the uh, fundraising efforts here in our part of the state, the relief efforts are, are so important. They will need our help, um, as, as they said, for, for, for years to come. Yeah, you can't think enough and pray enough for people yeah. in this situation. Diane, thank you.